Professor Marston created the Wonder Woman character, and she was inspired strongly by the two women in his life, Elizabeth and Olive. And Wonder Woman sort of encapsulates all the wonderful aspects that he had admired and observed between these two women, and how strong they were as separate entities, but also as a, as a unified powerhouse. The expression of their love for each other and the different dynamics in his life infused this incredible pop icon, which we all know today. Wonder Woman wasn't created to be just a regular superhero. She was created by this guy who really specifically wanted to make her psychological propaganda. He was a psychologist, and he wanted to kind of insert his ideas about men and women and feminism and psychology into Wonder Woman. He wanted young girls of his time to grow up with a figure like Wonder Woman that shows a young woman they can do anything. They, if they put their mind to it, they can be anything. He wanted to save the world by trying to get into the minds of men, and he was starting with his generation of boys and change how they thought about women and how they thought about war and how they thought about love so that there'd be peace on the planet. William Marston was a Boston-born thoroughbred. He comes from a very historical family, was very intelligent, wrote five books. Uh, he had a theory called disc theory. He basically believed that every social situation, whether it be the policeman and the criminal, or the teacher and the student, or relationships, or any sort of dynamic, could be broken down into these four categories of emotion, dominance, inducement, submission, and compliance. And this theory was something that he drew on throughout his whole life. It influenced everything he did, from the invention of the lie detector test through to attributes and the tools that Wonder Woman had. He thought that men would never give up their power voluntarily. So he reasoned that if he could have women realize what he called their captivation emotion, just kind of their sexual allure, and train men to love being submissive, then that would bring about peace on the planet, basically. You are very brilliant. I know. Smarter than me. I know that, too. I began the process wanting to write a biopic about Marston, and I thought that he was a guy who had a wife and a mistress and that they all lived together, but it was separate. And then I read this kind of incredible detail, which was that after Marston died, Olive and Elizabeth stayed together for 38 years, and that just blew my mind. I was like, oh, whoa. Do you know what I mean? Like that this wasn't just a guy who had a wife and a mistress, that there was love there between all three of them. And then another detail really hit me, which was that Elizabeth named her only daughter after Olive, named her Olive Anne. So I became obsessed with Elizabeth, and the script morphed to represent all three of their perspectives. I suppose I was drawn to Elizabeth because she's so charming, but she's also infuriating, and she's, she's so loud and outspoken and dominant. <laughs> and there was something uh, very appealing about playing someone like that that had so much power within social dynamics. We are in love. We cannot be in love. It's unorthodox, sure, it's but it's- preposterous. It is a fantasy and we have to live in reality. But the internal struggle is actually that she is sort of fighting a kind of deep-rooted puritanism, actually, and conventionality and fear of being what she actually is which is, you know, what we would call by today's standards, queer, as in, you know, on the queer spectrum of like, you know, interested in this and that, you know, fluid and all the rest of it. Um, but she doesn't own that. And in a way, the film is her journey to accepting that and submitting to it on some level. It seemed to me that she was this incredibly bold woman who 
wasn't necessarily allowed to live out her potential. She reminds me so much of me and everybody I know, so many women kind of working throughout the world, and I really kind of locked into her story. What are you doing here? I don't know. To me, Olive is actually the strongest character in the movie. She starts very impressionable and young, but that she has a boldness and a self-sufficiency that is quiet, but very grounded and strong. And she falls in love with these two dynamic characters and then ends up kind of guiding them through the film. She's a really open, warm, loving person. And she's kind of incapable of hiding her feelings. And I think that's a really endearing quality in a person. It's kind of a form of bravery. And I think she starts off just terrified of who she is or how that might be perceived or, you know, if it's okay to be the way she is or feel the things she feels. And then she meets these two people who, who actually want to see her, you know, who are actually interested in her. Wonderful. Olive is definitely the linchpin that ties the relationship together. And it was really important to me to kind of have her have that power. And I was really very interested in consent and exploring the notion of that and that she really knew what she was doing and decided to do it. To tell William Master's story and, and Elizabeth's story and Olive's story is important. We all know about the Wonder Woman character, but to know how and where and what she came from is so important. To you, Wonder Woman is just a comic, but she's my life. She's my love. Wonder Woman is the only superhero, I believe, that was created with the intention of bringing a message of love and peace to the world. And I feel that Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman anchors that message. Do you know what I mean? That it was these people and their love and their ideas that gave birth to this superhero who's totally different than any other. I really feel like it's important to kind of honor the people whose ideas, which have been obscured by necessity for so long, but to bring those ideas into the light and to say this thing that everybody loves came from these people and their ideas and their love for each other.